talk about things to do in Cusco, and a visit to Machu Picchu is always the first to come to mind. Of course, a visit to this ancient Incan citadel is a must, but there are many other things to do during your stay in this big city. Well, here are some of the top things to do in Cusco, and you should stick around until the end to discover all the fantastic activities listed in this video. Number 1. See the 12 Angled Stone the ancient city of Cusco is known for many things, but it is specifically famous for its unique structures. Of course, the Incan civilization was known for its architectural prowess that featured perfectly cut stones, and the 12 angled stone of Atun Rumiok is arguably the best of the lot. Lauded for its perfect assembly, it's said that not even a sheet of paper can fit between the stones. Over the years, this archaeological artifact has become a popular tourist attraction, drawing many visitors from far and wide. In fact, this piece of stone is considered a national heritage object. So, once you settle in at your Cusco accommodation, you may want to step out to Atun Rumiok Street, where you will be wowed by the fantastic 12-angled stone. Number 2. Visit the Coricancha Temple the Coricancha Temple, or the Temple of Light as it translates, was arguably the most important structure of the Incan Empire. The walls of this holy temple are covered with gold plates, and it is one of the most impressive structures in Cusco. It also features a Christian monastery built on its top by the Spanish in an attempt to change the religion in these parts. Today, the temple is still standing and has become one of the top tourist attractions in Cusco. Of course, there are many excellent structures in this region, but a visit to Coricancha Temple is one you don't want to miss. Number 3. Eat at the San Pedro Market No doubt, Peru is blessed with lots of local recipes, and you do not want to leave without indulging your taste buds in these delightful local dishes. Luckily, you can get the best of these dishes here in Cusco, and the San Pedro Market is where you should go to enjoy exciting local recipes. The San Pedro Market was initially a hot spot downtown where you can quickly get whatever you need, but it has also grown to become the most famous for the local dishes served here. The meals here are said to be cheaper and tastier than in the restaurants across town, and you can often see locals and tourists alike lining up to eat here. If you wouldn't mind having your taste buds blown, you should try two or three delicacies here at the San Pedro Market. Number 4. Take a photo with a baby llama One common scene you will surely encounter in your walk across the streets of Cusco is the costumed women carrying baby llamas. This is quite a unique scene, and you will surely find the combination photogenic. Sometimes, instead of the women, you can see little girls in these costumes with baby llamas, and they will demand you to pay a small tip in exchange for a photo with the llamas. Well, since this is an awe-inspiring city, you sure don't want to miss out on taking the photo and saving this unique memory. Number 5. Party it out at Wild Rover and Mama Africa The nightlife in Cusco is electric complementing the numerous attractions you can explore during the day. Of course, one of the best ways to spend your evenings in Cusco is to step out to a club or a bar and party it out with the locals and other tourists like you. Mama Africa is one of the famous nightclubs in this park, and you can rest assured of a fun evening dancing to local Peruvian music and meeting new and exciting people. Alternatively, you can head down to the Wild Rover Hotel to enjoy a similar experience. Even if you are not a very good dancer, you will find friendly locals open to teaching you a few dance moves to get you in on the fun. You definitely do not want to leave Cusco without exploring these nightclubs. Number 6. Have a beer at the world's highest Irish-owned pub if you want to take a break from Cusco's local recipes, you should head down to Paddy's Irish Pub, where you can get a taste of Ireland's food and beer combination. Located just outside Plaza de Armas, Paddy's Pub is world-renowned for being the highest Irish-owned pub, and this is thanks to Cusco's 3,399-meter altitude. Paddy's Pub is known for its maximum height and has also made a name in these parts for the delicacies on its menu. You can enjoy a variety of food like shepherd's pie and pizza in this pub, or you can choose to have a beer or two while relaxing with friends or enjoying the company of locals. Number 7. Check out San Blas Neighborhood If you would like to wander away from the crowded areas of Cusco but still enjoy a fun time out, then the San Blas Neighborhood is where you should head to. This picturesque neighborhood is not too far away from Plaza de Armas, and it is quickly becoming a very popular barrio here. Here, you will find the best restaurants, boutiques, and fine cafes open to serve interested locals and tourists. 
This district is not the most tourist populated, but it often comes alive on weekends, and that's the best time to come check out the San Blas neighborhood. Of course, this is one place you don't want to miss out on visiting during your stay in Cusco. Number 8. Wander Around Cusco's Historical Center If you are a history enthusiast, visiting Cusco's historical center is non-negotiable, as you will get to explore the best Spanish and Andean cultures alongside the parts they play in Peru's rich history. Conveniently located toward the city center, this district often attracts tourists from far and wide. The main square here is the famous Plaza de Armas, and it is one of the most popular in all of Peru. Here, you'll find many historic monuments and iconic buildings, like the Cusco Cathedral, and they are sure to take your breath away. Also, there are many quality restaurants and bars here, and you already know you are up for a good time wandering the streets of this historic center. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide will teach you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 9. Visit the Statue of Christ After settling here in Cusco, one of the things to do next is head out on a visit to Cristo Blanco, which translates to the Statue of the White Christ. At about 8 meters tall, it is not as big as the statue in Rio, but it is certainly one of the dominant statues in Cusco. Tourists visiting this part of the country often have a visit to Cristo Blanco on the top of their list of things to do in Cusco, and you don't want to miss out on the opportunity either. If you are visiting with your family, this is one of the best locations to have a picnic, and you can find other locals doing the same. You'll get to enjoy the fantastic scenery, so make sure to take pictures to remember this experience. Number 10. Celebrate the Spectacular Inti Raimi Festival If you are visiting Cusco in winter, you may be lucky enough to witness the spectacular Inti Raimi Festival. The Festival of the Sun, as it translates, was the most important of the four festivals celebrated by the Incans, and it was to honor and celebrate the return of the Sun God. The festival is celebrated on the 24th of June, which is the day when the Sun is furthest from the Earth in these parts. Plus, it also marks the Incan New Year. Of course, the Incan Empire is no more, and the civilization has since become obsolete. But the Inti Raimi Festival is still very much celebrated in Cusco, and you can always join in on the celebration. On the festival date, thousands of locals and tourists march along the streets of the historical center and congregate at the Esplandes to witness the cultural activities carried out to relive the Inca legacy. You will surely enjoy it. Number 11. Visit Pachacutec Museum Cusco is very much known for the numerous historical museums here, and you may want to relive history by visiting a few of them. Wondering where to start? Well, the Pachacutec Museum is one of the best in the region, built in honor of Pachacutec, who was the greatest Incan ruler. The museum has seven floors, each dedicated to different stages of the emperor's life, and you'll undoubtedly find them pretty interesting. Other museums to check out in Cusco include the Choco Museum, where you can learn about the history of cacao and the production process of chocolate. If you find this place fascinating, then wait till you get to the Papa Museum, which is dedicated to the history of potatoes in the country. Peru has about 4,000 varieties of potatoes, so it's only ideal to have a potato museum in Cusco that teaches the cultivation process of each species. Number 12. Explore the Sucse Woman Ruins Another exciting activity in Cusco for history lovers entails visiting the various ruins here. Of course, Machu Picchu is the main attraction in this region, but there are other minor ruins on the outskirts of Cusco that are worth visiting, and Sucse Woman tops the list. Formerly a major citadel built by the Kilke culture and expanded by the Incans, the massive stone structure has since been reduced to ruins, but then it still retains its status as a public attraction in the area. A bit further away from Cusco lies the Kenko Ruins, which used to be a temple built with limestone rocks, and you may want to include it in your list of ruins to visit during your stay in Cusco. Other ruins worth visiting in these parts include the Puka Pucara, which is also known as the Red Fortress, and Tumbo Machai, which was formerly a site for ritual bathing. Tourists usually visit these few ruins together as part of the Cusco Tourist Ticket Circuit. Number 13. Soak in the beauty and history of the Sacred Valley Talk about the best day trips from Cusco, and the Sacred Valley is a close second behind the famous Machu Picchu. It features a range of valleys, rivers, towns, and other well-preserved Inca architecture. Surely, you should head out to the Sacred Valley to soak in the beauty and rich history here. Urubamba is the largest town in these parts, 
and it lies along the road to Machu Picchu, just beside its namesake lake. And it is a commercial hub that attracts tourists making their way here. Ollantaytambo is another tourist village in the valley, and it features some breathtaking archaeological sites built by the Incans after their victory against the Spaniards. Maras is another town to explore when you get here, and it's known for its salt mines. This network of over a thousand cascading pools of ancient salt deposits has all it takes to be the highlight of your trip here, as it promises to leave you amazed. From here, you can also head down to the Morai Terraces to climax your visit at the Sacred Valley with the site of amphitheater terraces. These terraces are believed to have been used as agricultural labs where the Incans performed several experiments resulting in the discovery of thousands of potato species. Number 14. Hike up to the Rainbow Mountain Hiking is one activity you want to take advantage of during your visit to Cusco. Of course, there are exciting peaks in this part of the country, but none is as unique and awe-inspiring is the famous Rainbow Mountain. This mystical seven-colored mountain used to be covered in ice and was only discovered about a decade ago due to climate change in the area. However, it is quickly becoming one of the top tourist attractions in the area, attracting over 1,000 visitors daily. Here, visitors often have to hike a narrow part of 5,200 meters to get to the mountaintop. If you reckon yourself fit enough, you can join a trekking party at the bottom of the mountain. If not, you can rent a horse to take you up to this fantastic mountain to experience the seven-colored wonder up close. Number 15. Marvel at the beauty of the Umantai Lake South America is responsible for many great glacier lakes and mountains, and you want to take advantage of your time here to go explore some of them. Well, if you are in Cusco, then you are not far away from Umantai, which is one of the most beautiful glacier lakes in the world. The crystal blue lake is situated over 2,000 meters up the Umantai Glacier Mountain and often sparkles whenever the sun comes out. Plus, if you are up for a little more adventure, you can climb higher up the ridge, from whence you will be regarded with a sublime view of the lake and surrounding scenery. Luckily, most tour guides in Cusco recommend this trip, which is hard to miss anyway. Number 16. Go on a multi-day trek Depending on how long you will be staying in the tourist city of Cusco, you may want to include one or two multi-day treks on your list of things to do. Luckily, there are more than a few destinations to explore on a multi-day hike from Cusco. Top of this list is the famous Inca Trail, and it is one you don't want to miss. This trail offers one of the most popular treks on the continent, and it features two versions of the trek. The classic Inca Trail is the main version, laced with more tourist attractions to keep you entertained throughout the trek. On the other hand, the short Inca Trail offers a shorter route to Machu Picchu, but it is often less entertaining than the classic trail. The Salcantay Trail is another very popular trail in Cusco, often taken as an alternative to the classic Inca Trail. The trail passes through the top of the Salcantay Mountain and often requires a level of determination and resilience to complete. The Inca Trail may be the most famous here, but the Salcantay Trail is certainly no pushover, and it even features on most lists of top 25 treks in the world. Other exceptional treks to embark on from Cusco include the Lares, Choquequirao, and Al Sangate treks, which offer unique experiences. For sure, these treks are all worth a place in your Cusco to-do list, and they all promise an experience to remember. Number 17. Take the train to Machu Picchu. Well, at the end of the day, your tour in Cusco is certainly not complete without a trip to the famous Machu Picchu, and this is one activity to highlight on your bucket list. Indeed, there are many ways to get to Machu Picchu, but the train is, by far, the most popular and exciting. This is helped by the fact that it is the only public transport to Machu Picchu. However, it is an experience you will not forget in a hurry. The train passes through several fascinating sites before arriving at the ancient Incan citadel. Undoubtedly, a ride on the train to Machu Picchu will convince you that the experience is worth every hike. Click on our next video now to discover many other fascinating details about Peru.